Here's a Moto G Power, the 2022 model. I'm going to show you how to transfer files such as photos and videos directly from your phone to a Windows computer, laptop, or PC using the charging cable. So the first thing to note is your charging cable that comes with your um, Moto G Power, it's a USB-A to USB-C, okay? So hopefully you have a USB-A um, USB port on your computer, okay? I do have a USB port. Now, if you guys don't have a USB port, you only have like a USB-C connection, then the cable that you need, you need something like this, a USB-C to a USB-C, or another thing that you can do too, even with the uh, regular cable, you can go ahead and use an adapter here. This right here, it's a USB-A to a USB-C. We can go ahead and plug that into there, and then you have a USB-C to USB-C, okay? Anyway, go ahead and plug in the cable into your computer. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into my phone now. Okay, now I have it plugged in. Let me just go ahead and log into my phone. Okay, now what we want to do first thing is we want to go ahead and slide down notifications on the phone. We want to slide down right there. And then you should look in the very, very bottom. And it should say right here, it says Android system charging this device via USB. You can see that right there. Let's go ahead and tap on that right there. And now it says uh, charging this device via USB. Tap for more options, okay? So we got to tap this again, all right? Now you can see by default they put down no data transfer. So what I want to do is go up here where it says file transfer, okay? So we'll tap on file transfer just like that. And then something popped up here. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to my computer. And now if we go down to the Windows Explorer, that little uh, that little yellow folder, I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. Oops. Let's open that up right there. And now we'll tap on this PC on the left pane there. And now you should see Moto G Power 2022 right there okay let's go ahead and double click that and this says eternal shared storage so let's go ahead and double click on that that's my internal memory on my phone and then all your photos and videos that you take goes into the dcim folder so you can see right there so let's double click on that and then camera here let's double click on the camera folder and i only have i don't have that many photos and videos in here you can see the photos here by um it says JPEG file and their video files if it says vid in the beginning. All right. So if I want to go ahead and copy this to the hard drive, what I typically do is I'll just go to my desktop here. I'll right click on my mouse and I'll go to new and I'll go to folder here and I'll name this one. I'll just name it Moto. And now what I'll do is I'll select whatever photos and videos that I want and put it into that folder. I'm just going to copy all of it that I have. I'm going to drag and drop it into that, fo that folder I called Moto, and I'm going to drop it right there. Go ahead and let it transfer. So it's copying right now. Okay, it's done copying. Now I can just go ahead and disconnect my phone, and those photos and videos should be in that folder right there. All right, pretty simple. Questions or issues, uh, comment below. Good luck, guys.